Hi everyone and welcome to this quick demonstration on the Excitex Revit Toolkit for Revit 2013. The toolkit will be located on the add-ins ribbon and for the 2013 release we have two new modules. We have the coordinate scheduling tool which will allow you to extract pole coordinates which is very useful and also a new uh, module for 2013 which is element uh, renumbering. For most uh, structural customers, I think the coordinate scheduling tool is going to be the one you're going to need to use. Uh, this is completely free. All you need to do is go onto Excitex website. Um, there's a link on my blog uh, to get to that, and you'll be able to download and use it. Now, there's only one criteria to actually use a toolkit, and that is that the piles and pile caps here must be separate elements, i.e. they must be nested. Okay, So we can't have a pile and a pile cap all in the same family, they have to be nested piles. Right, okay so let's get going. So I'm going to start off by going to the foundation plan here. And the first thing we do is we go to user options on the toolkit. Once we're into the user options here, we can decide what categories we're going to schedule out. So I'm going to schedule out structural foundations. If I have other categories in the list, like columns and so on, I'd see those there. What coordinate base I'm going to use. So in this example, I'm going to go and use shared coordinates. But of course, you could take the coordinates from the project base point as well. Because the schedule isn't live, what we have to do is uh, take precautions when printing, saving or exporting documents. So for that reason, we can get the toolkit to um, basically nudge us and help us update these prior to exporting out files, printing or saving documents. OK, so I'll say OK there. The next thing we're going to do is actually generate the parameters. So I'm going to generate the parameters, and when you generate parameters, you have to tell our toolkit exactly what objects you're going to burn the parameters into. Now, um, the Revit toolkit will create three parameters. That's the Excitec X, Excitec Y, and Excitec Z parameters. So all I need uh, here is for them to be in the Structural Foundations family. So we'll go ahead and create those parameters. And the final step is really to create the coordinate schedule. Okay, so what we'll do here, let's just go into the user setup. Okay, and you can now see that we have 134 elements that have the parameters created. So what does it do? Well, let's zoom in and have a look at one of these uh, piles here. So I'll select the pile. And what will happen here is you can see that the Excitec toolkit uh, simply adds in Excitec X, Y and Z parameters. Basically, they're the, they're the X, Y and Z uh, coordinates um, for that pile. Now, one of the great things, of course, is you can schedule it. So we can go into the schedule here, like so. We'll go to Fields. Okay, and in here, you can see we have the X, Y and Z parameters. So we can add those through. Obviously I can format these to whatever I want, so I could say um, Eastings there, Northings, and I could say uh, Z. And you can now see those parameters have been added through. Now of course if anything changes, what, how do we handle that? Well, if I go back to the Foundations uh, level here, I'm just going to get this grid. Okay, we'll make a change to that grid. So instead you'll now see that the um, pile caps and of course the piles have now moved, which means we now need to reschedule uh, the piles. Now I might have forgotten that I've made that change, so what will happen now for example if I, if I come along and say oh I want to go and print something in here, and I go ahead and actually make that print, you can see here it says, um, well it gives me a, a little nudge here saying that the coordinate schedule may have changed, do you want to rerun it? Yep, so I'll say yep, okay rerun that change. Okay, so now that's actually made that um, change there. Again, if we come back and have a look, the parameters have updated. So that's the uh, toolkit, very, very useful. Um, there is some tutorials and some documentation on this. Again, there's links on my blog. Okay, hope that's been useful. 